good morning ignite how are you guys doing i wonder what the weather's like where you are where i am it's very wet and gray outside my window and it's raining a lot it's a good day for going out and jumping in muddy puddles maybe for a little bit of exercise if you like doing that now i wonder if you like going on trips if you like visiting new places today we're going to be learning about two people in our story called Paul and Barnabas who are sent to go to different places to tell people all about Jesus. Now, I wonder, would you like to visit a new place or a new country when we're allowed to do so? I know there's lots of places I'd like to visit, especially a place called country called Greece, which um, is a, a lot of where a lot of things in the book of Acts actually happen. But I would really love to visit that place. But I wonder, when you visit a new place, how would you feel when you're going somewhere new? I think I'd be a little bit excited. I'd be very excited, but I'd be a little bit nervous and a bit worried because it might be a bit different and I might not know. I might not know the language. And I think that might be how Paul and Barnabas felt in today's story. So this is from the book of Acts and it is Acts chapter 13 verses 1 to 12, and it's called Paul and Barnabas are sent. So in the church in Antioch, there were some Christian leaders named Barnabas, Niger, Lucius, Manen and Paul. As they met to pray and fast, the Holy Spirit told them God had a special job for Paul and Barnabas to do. They were sent off on a trip to tell other people about Jesus. And the first place they were to go to share the good news was the island of Cyprus, which is near Turkey. The two men travelled from Antioch and set sail for the island of Cyprus. Another disciple, John Mark, came to help them. They landed at the port of Salamis and went ashore. They started telling people at a local synagogue about Jesus. Now, the synagogue is where Jewish people go to worship God. And that's where they would have found these people to tell them about Jesus. And how God had sent his son to save them. They travelled across the island, sharing the good news of Jesus with others. When they got to Paphos, the Roman ruler Sergius Paulus, who was a very clever man, sent for Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear what they were saying. Also at the meeting, he's telling people about God, but he's not really doing the right thing that God wants him to do. A Jewish false prophet named Elimas, who was involved with evil practices that God had forbidden. As Paul started telling the Roman ruler about Jesus, Elimas did not like what he had heard and interrupted, opposing the good news Paul was sharing. Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elimas and said, you are an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. That means not saying good things and telling people things that aren't true. The Lord is against you. You are going to be blind for a time, not even able to see the light of the sun. Immediately, mist and darkness came over Elimas, and he groped about looking for someone to lead him by the hand. When the Roman ruler, Sergius Paulus, saw what had happened, he believed in Jesus and was amazed at the teaching about the Lord. So when this man saw what happened, he began believing in Jesus and started following Jesus because he was amazed at what Paul and Barnabas said and how God was using them. So how do you think Paul and Barnabas felt when they went to a new place? Mm, I think I would have been a bit nervous and a bit scared. They wouldn't have had the internet like we did or pictures and photographs to know what it was going to look like or go on a map. Um, they probably would have had a map to get there on the, on the ship, but they wouldn't have had things like we have. They wouldn't have had their phone to give them directions or all those other things that we rely on today. They wouldn't know what it was like. and probably couldn't even speak the same language. But we've got to remember that God says he will be with us wherever we go and whatever we do. So even when Paul and Barnabas went to this new place where they didn't know anybody, didn't know what the place was going to be like, they had to remember that God said 
that he will be with us wherever we go and whatever we do. And that is really, really good news. I wonder where you would like God to be with you this week. Or when you would like God to be with you this week. It might be when you go to nursery or to school. It might be when you're at home or when people are looking after you, or maybe it could be when you're going to bed. Maybe you don't like the dark and you're a little bit nervous and scared of the dark. But we can pray and ask God to be with us in those times and those places. So we're going to pray now to ask God to be with us. Dear God, thank you that you are with us wherever we go and whatever we do. Thank you that you went with Paul and Barnabas when they went to Cyprus and even when the man didn't want to hear the news about Jesus, that you were still with them and you took care of them. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will be with us and our children everywhere we go this week and whatever we do and that we will know that you are with us always. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a good week and I will speak to you guys again next week. Take care. Bye bye.